Hello everyone, I am Metro Menace, and just, you know, welcoming you guys to my walkthrough of a game I thought I was very not knowledgeable about, you know, just, uh, wanted to start with something good, clean slate, all that kind of stuff, so, Metroid Prime 3. Which is a game, you know, that I have a lot of fun with. It's the first Metroid game I've ever played in all of my life. And it really got me introduced to the series, and it's pretty easy, so that's why I'm doing it entirely in veteran walk uh, a veteran walkthrough. And you may be thinking, like, dude, why didn't you do this in hyper mode difficulty if you want to make it difficult? Well, the fact is that I'm, uh, in order to get the capture device, everything to maximum proportions, I have to use it on HDMI, which um, means I'm having to use my Wii U. So. That I haven't done anything with Metroid, you know, uh, Metroid Prime 3 on my Wii U, so, you know, I just have to use this because I don't want to play the trilogy version just because, I don't know, I've been playing that a lot recently, so it's good, uh, good to start off here. I'll just quick go to options, see if I have this, uh, with controls I always like to make it maxed out for the whole sensitivity just because, you know, it's really, it's really helpful. Okay, anyway, that should do it, so now we have extreme sensitivity. So, that's about all I want to change. And, yeah, so, here we go. I just have to say, like, this is one of the greatest first-person shooters of all time. So, veteran. Also, I'll be quiet during the cutscenes, but I will explain what's going on slowly. Okay, so here we are. Now, if you don't know what's going on, here's a little information. First off, that was the whole event um, ending of Metroid Prime 2. Just, you know, after the Space Pirates stole all the phase on from Planet Ether, they ended up with that. And they got the remnants of Dark Samus, who then it rose from their remains using phase on as, a, as her superpower. So. Unidentified vessel, please switch to a secure radio frequency and transmit your identity code. We are standing by. Okay, yeah, so all you gotta do is do this at the very beginning, because you will never use any of these other devices any bit later in the entire game. So just type these in, and, you know, it's pretty basic code. So then, I think, and there you go. Transmission verified. Greetings, Samus. We welcome you on behalf of the Galactic Federation. Well, that was pretty easy, so... Proceed to the command ship Olympus. You've been cleared for docking bay 5. Welcome back, Samus. Yeah, anyway, use the thruster, which you'll never use again, of course. But I'm a little confused about the whole, like, um, are we a bounty hunter kind of thing, because we always end up working for the Galactic Federation. It seems more like we're an employee or something, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. And also, if you're wondering, yes, I think Samus is, like, the most awesome Nintendo character. I don't know, just because with Metroid, they decided to change the whole aspect so it went to looking more realistic instead of looking more cartoony like you get with Mario and Zelda and that kind of stuff today, which I think is kind of sad, just in general.
And as I said in the description and everything, I am trying to get 100% um, of the scans and everything. So, you know, I'll just show you where all those are, which should be fun. So here we are. First. Please calibrate your weapon by shooting these targets. Okay, just pay them no mind, scan these things. These are, um, if you, they added this new thing with this game particularly, so that if you scan some things that aren't research, everything except research, you can get credits for it. Anyway, so shoot these targets. The nice thing is that we have the Wii mode here, instead of, like, the GameCube version, which is really horrible, complete. you know, like, for Prime 2 Famous. and, Welcome to the flagship you know, Admiral Dane is waiting and for you with in the, briefing room. the original Prime game. The That's the only thing I can complain now. about those games, I mean. That's about it. Anyway, so they're telling us to go over to that place. So just pay them no mind at the beginning. Just scan the um, these certain items. You can scan these guys. The, um, so you can also scan these, which will bring up these little training things. You can shoot them if you want to, but I'm not really good at this part, so I'm just gonna scan it. Show there, red credit, which you can eventually use to buy stuff. It's more fun just to get the stuff. I mean. The credits aren't really worth it or anything. They just, it's just like a 100% completion kind of thing. So there you go. And then up here. Oh, come on. So up here we have an auto defense turret, which will start shooting you if you like shoot these employee dudes. Like this guy, if you do things like shoot these people, then it'll pull out the turret like so. Say like hostile weapons fire. Also, you cannot destroy those turrets, which is kind of sad after all, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, it'll go away after a few seconds, no harm done, really. So, just go through the door here, which you should also scan if you want to research everything. And now we have some the new people to meet up with, kind of. Looks like getting ready So, now. This game also introduces their first uh, puzzle pretty quickly. No right joke. here. All you gotta do is shoot these. With charge names, specifically. And there you go. On to the next area. So, this beginning part's kind of unique to this Prime game because the other ones don't really have a beginning and everything. You know how they just, like, jump into action and you lose all your stuff? That's the weird thing about this game because you don't actually lose your stuff in this game just keep it all and but you already start out pretty powered up with like the jump boots which are really a uh, bother to get later on so uh, this next puzzle is going to be opening the door. you should scan it first because the research everything then um, you have to scan this no matter what and it'll give you a control pad to enter input, input the code I already know the code but you'll find it right behind you one three five seven six but if you want to know where to find the code, just scan that thing and it will tell you the code. Right there. But we don't have to do that. Try not to move during the procedure. We need a stable So there's another bounty hunter, which is, you know, just only seen in this game that there are other bounty hunters besides Prime Hunters, which is not a very good game, in my opinion. But uh yeah. You may proceed. There's Gore. Um, he has the ability to control um, cybernetic things, he can, um, can control lots of machines and everything, and he has this giant set of armor. Kind of a interesting character. Also, if you want to scan that panel he's next to right over there, it will bring up another data file, which you probably want to know. Yep. So then they want us to do a bioscan, which you will end up doing later on in the game, and slowly as you get more corrupt. If you notice the title, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. So right now we're clear, 100% fine, and our various suit is online. Which allows us to go through hot environments and stuff, but really it's just aesthetic in this game, because, you know never a point when you encounter a problem like that because you don't have to retreat the various suit. Anyway, so you see Gore magically disappeared, and we move on.
that's about it. You can chat with the people, but their conversation is very interesting. So I'll just ride up this elevator here. If you guys don't know, just step into the you know, little hologram there. Sadly, this game got rid of the cool ability from the first game, which is the ability to jump in elevators, which I'm pretty sad about, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. uh, this is also a problem with this game specifically I have, is the loading screens take a little time sometimes, so you have to like blast the doors a lot to get them to open. So. We're up here, everything. If you scan those things, you'll find out about nothing, pretty much. They're just weapon systems. Now, you can't get past this guy unless you go to the recharge station or save station or whatever you want to call it. So, splash those doors. And you can always scan these. They don't actually, um, unlike the first game, they're not mandatory for 100% scan. So, here you go. Save station, recharge station, whatever you want to call it. There. So we'll just save now. Pretty easy. This beginning tutorial is kind of slow and boring, but you know, it gets more interesting later on. Anyway, I think this is about where I'm going to wrap up the first part. Next time we're fighting those space pirates, you know, all that kind of fun. So I uh, guess I'll see you guys later.